I'm doing 10 holidays for half the price of what the average British person spends in one year, which is this much. And including flying business class, doing three continents, my other rule is that two of these getaways have to be five nights or more. And that's why I decided to look at house and pet sitting. It's exactly what it sounds like. Somebody needs to go away and either have a home, a pet, a luxurious garden that they need someone to keep an eye on. And instead of having to pay someone to come and do those jobs, they post a job online, they invite people in, and you get free accommodation and they get the job done for free. It's a win-win situation. There are quite a few websites that you can look for house and pet sits on, but these are the main four that I looked into. The first one is trustedhousesitters.com. Now this is easily the biggest online directory. It's got a really sophisticated website. It's got a full 24 hour support team. It's got places from all over the world. Only thing that is the slight drawback is the fact that it's 89 pounds to be a member. If you kind of put it into the thought of if you stay somewhere for a week, actually it's pretty good price. Option two is a website called housecarers.com. Now this has actually been around for the longest and it's free to sign up, browse, and set up email alerts. However, if you want to start messaging people, that's going to cost you around $50 a year. Another site to try is mindmyhouse.com. When I checked today, there were a decent amount of house sits on there. What's more, mindmyhouse.com is only $20 a year, so it might be a good place to start. Lastly, we get to the website that I use, which is called nomador.com. No, nomador, nomador. Let's go with Nomadal. Now this is actually the only website that has a totally free option. Yes, their discovery mode allows you to message up to three people. Since this is the website that I ended up using, I'm gonna take you through exactly how it works. You click here to see what house sits are available. This key is really handy. It summarizes what they're looking for from the reason to the land attached to the property, to what you're going to be looking after, whether there's a garden, and transport in the area too. And obviously very important to the side are the dates that they're looking for and it also tells you if they're firm or flexible so there could be a bit of give and take with some of these. The search functions are pretty decent. I'm gonna pop in here Paris and yes, there are a few that are coming up. That's because this website used to be just for French house sits. You can also search by region and country. They also have this little search function down here if you're you're not too you're not too bothered on where you end up, but you know that you want to go hiking or you know go to the beach. Either combined with the location or on its own, you can also search by dates. I quite like the date range. I think that's quite handy. The last thing to note is that you can search for a place for people with reduced mobility, which is really great. There's also this thing, which is called the Nomador Stopover, which is essentially people who are offering out their houses, but to travelers who might be in the area for a night or two, it's a bit like couch surfing really, um, but I think it's a really nice aspect of this community feel that they have online. So that's how it works and I'm now gonna quickly take you through some of my top tips on how you could get your first home sit. First things first, make sure you set alerts for the location or the date range that you're after. You don't ever wanna miss a potential house sit. Upload a good photo of yourself. I'm talking about one that your mum would show her mates when she's bragging about you. So if you are keeping it free, you need to make your message to the homeowner count. First of all, tell them about yourself, what's interesting about what you do, why are you looking to house and pet sit. Make that person feel special. Don't forget to compliment if their pet's cute, tell them people love hearing that. If they got some nice cushions on their bed, they'll also love that too. Who doesn't? If they have a pet, make sure you show it some interest. It's not just about the humans. If you've had a pet before, fantastic. If you haven't, but have looked after a friend's cat or dog when they've been abroad, then say it here. I think what's key is that you show that you love and care for animals. Responsibility is really key in getting them to trust you. And we found a really easy way of doing this by, we just linked in our Airbnb profile because we've got loads of reviews on there. And that is actually the reason we got selected. You can also say that you've got character references should they want them and need to call people to check up on you. Check you're not a weirdo. At the end of the message, why not suggest having a phone call or a Skype? And I think that will really help people to trust you and also to show them that you're taking it really seriously. Overall, I absolutely loved doing my first ever cat sit. I loved it, the house was lush, Paris was amazing. 
yeah, I could not recommend it anymore. If you found this helpful, please give the video a like, and if you have any questions at all, pop them down in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. The next video is all about what we got up to in Paris. Maya. Perfect. The last one, if you're feeling a little bit nosy, was what our house sit looked like, because we didn't actually know until we turned up. It was quite exciting. All this leaves me to say is good luck in your own search, and if you do find a place, let me know, because I'm pretty nosy too.